Hi there! In this video I'm going to show you how to edit your product page. So this page is basically if you have your store set up and someone clicks on a product and it takes them to the single product page that's only featuring the one product. So when you're in your website editor, if you have a store, to get to this page what you need to do is go to menus and pages, store pages, product page. And it'll display this, usually just a sample product or you know one of your products. And this is what it currently looks like. So you can see the fonts, the font colors um, down here. There's how it's displaying product info and return policies, social links, things like that. So if you want to edit the look and feel of this page, what you need to do is click it, hit settings. And this is where everything that you'll need is right here. So your first one that you can go to is layout. So if you select this and you want to change the layout of it, you can do this and kind of scroll through the different options and see how it looks, how it lays out the different information that you have. And so there's these five different options here. So this is probably the biggest change that you could do for your store, depending on how you want to display items. Thumbnails, if you have multiple pictures for a product, you can have them display at the bottom of the picture, to the left of the picture, to the right, or as dots underneath that people have to click. Um, if you don't want your pictures to auto crop, you can you can set the different sizes here. So if you want the one one, um, then it shows it as a square image. Or if you do auto, then it automatically does it to what the picture is. You can have your pictures cropped or you can choose fit. So say this product picture is not a square, but you have everything fitting the one to one ratio. It will fit the picture inside of the one to one. However, there'll just be like some white space between it. If you want, when they hover over the image, if you want it to zoom in closer, you can have that on or off. So that's kind of some of your basic layout settings as far as the product page goes. If you come here to settings, this is where you can really select what you want people to see and what you don't want them to see. So if you want the SKU number on there, you can have that. Um, quantity, like what's left in stock, different info sections. So that would be your product and return, you know, different things that you type in that individual product. Say this product, you're getting ready to launch it, but it's not ready to go yet. You can unselect show button and they won't be able to buy it. So what I might um, suggest on that is like they can see like size and quantity, but they won't be able to add it to cart. So that's where you could do that. And you can also decide if they want to open as a mini cart. So that will be over on the right hand side, a little like this has been added. You can go to the full cart page or you could stay on the product page and it might just kind of ding up at the top like, hey, added a cart. So depending on what you want your customer experience to be, this is where you would edit that. If you don't want them to add it to cart and you just want them to directly go to your cart, if you hit buy now, it brings you straight to the cart and so they can just instantly buy it. That's um, something I don't recommend unless you have a product that they're really only buying one of. So for example, on our website, um, XOXO websites, people are typically only buying one template. They're not buying multiple templates. It's like, I've chosen this template, I'm gonna buy it. So we have the buy now button on. If you have a shop where they might wanna add multiple products to the cart, have the add to cart button rather than the buy now. And then also if you want at the very bottom here, there's a social media bar so you can determine um, where you want people to be allowed to share or you can just turn it off altogether and it hides it. For your text, if you want your button to change instead of saying add to cart, um, say I want it, you know, you can change it to something fun there. If you do have quantities that you're keeping uh, track of, this message out of stock, you know, if you don't have any more, it'll say out of stock instead of add to cart. Um, if you want, you can add a members area with a wish list, but that's something for another time. And finally, for the design, you can change the background and the border. So if you want to change the colors of this page, so as far as text goes, um, you could change the button information, product details, you can change the text, the text color, how you want it aligned, um, basically for all these different options here, depending on how you want this page to look. 
This here is pretty standard to Wix. We didn't edit too much for it. So if you want it to look like this, that's kind of your standard settings. However, if you want the button purple or maybe the product name bigger and bolder or a different font, you can do and edit those things here. So that is under your product details, buttons, and then info sections. So this one's kind of interesting. So depending on how you want your product info laid out, so this is under collapsible. You can turn it into tabs and it'll, where you can click that. You can do stacked where it just shows them on top of each other. Or finally you can do columns where it kind of shrinks them down a little bit. And you can show how many columns you want. If you want two, you want one, um, different things like that. However, you want them displayed for these different options. Also, as you scroll down for the product info, you can change your text by clicking in here, same for your colors. And if you want these to be um, different colors, there's borders, backgrounds, different things like that if you want them to stand out in any different ways. If you've made changes in here and you're like, man, I wish I wanna go back to the original, just hit reset to original design, it'll bring you back to the standard Wix. So that's kind of your basics for editing your product page. So um, if you, I hope that this is helpful. And this again is just the individual product page within your shop.